this video we're using Substance 3D Sampler to create a knitted wool material in minutes. Let's build this knitted wool material together. We'll also explore ways to tweak and edit the material. We're using a closed weave filter as starting point. Let's add it by clicking on the add a layer button, typing in clothes and choosing clothes weave. Then we tweak the weave pattern to only weft for single rows and make it a lot smaller. Now we switch the color mode weft to none to get rid of the horizontal rows. We further increase the width slightly, switch to height blend for a smooth blending with the later added rows and get rid of the imperfection to make the rows straighter. Now to get the mirrored wool pattern reshape look we have to flip it horizontally with the transform filter by adjusting the scale x to minus 1. We further offset it slightly horizontally to make room for the following mirrored rows. Let's add the second close weave filter to build those. For this one we use the same settings as the first close weave filter. But you can also experiment around with both of them to get more variation. For example you could tweak the width and the imperfection or change the yarn type to get different more imperfect looks. Let's rename the material and save the project frequently. Sometimes while working on a material we need to tweak the displacement in the viewport. To adjust the height of the displacement use the displacement button and tweak the height scale. To get more deformation details we add a warp filter. As type we take warp and switch the noise to BNW for smaller details. Because of the really small texture we have to reduce the intensity to a really small value too to get a nice result. For the colorization we use a color variation filter. Let's activate advanced segmentation to get more control. As mask we use the AO channel. Then we increase the blur a bit for a smoother color transition. Further we tweak both colors for a purple result. The second color is better when it is slightly darker than the first one. As final filter we use channel switch to get the roughness information from another channel. We switch input to height because it has a nice transition with lighter outer areas. Further we switch the output to roughness. As mode we choose subtract because we want to have the outer areas more shiny. Let's finally tweak the opacity for a nicer result. To check the result in different lighting conditions we can choose between several different environment lights till we find one that looks great. With shift and right mouse button we control the environment rotation. Here's our final result. You can save this setup as sampler archive to tweak the layers at a later time. Use send to to send it directly to another substance app. Export it as SBSAR for other 3D apps and engines or just export it to texture files. There's a way to get this material into every 3D software. If you want to experiment and learn more, you can download the file shown in the video. Thanks for watching and let us know any ideas or suggestions in the comments. See you in the next episode.